Hi, my name is David and I go to EHPS, which is short for Epping Heights Public School. I'm in year four in a year five class. To, to play, yeah, press run and you should go to the cave or the zombie. In the zombie scene, you can press space to shoot and W to jump. When, the zo when you hit the zombie with a bullet, it will disappear and give you some money. But when the zombie hits you, you will get a lot of health taken away, so you should be careful. In the cave scene, you can click your mouse to get a lot of gems. You have to keep clicking to get more and more gems. You can also see that the axe is spinning. In the building scene, you have to click the zombies to save the last survivors of the human world, including you. In the shop scene, you can buy weapons, but first you need to get some money from the zombies. You first have to buy the cheapest one all the way to the most expensive one, which is actually how you win. In the blacksmith, you have to look at this to see which enchantments you can get and then roll here. But first you need 100 gems to be able to roll. I use all sorts of codes like these variables and start blocks. I had wait, the scene zombie was hard because I had all, almost all the blocks. I had to make it move by the repeat infinite block. In case scene, I used the when mouse. In the case scene, I used the when mouse click to get gems. In shop scene, I used the when object click and to get the weapon. And I also had to use variables to get take away money. The building was simple. I just used when object clicks to make the zombies disappear. The zombie was trickier because all because all the codes I had to use. I used signals and when space click blocks to shoot. I also used functions to get rid of the zombies when it touches the bullet. In the blacksmith, I use also I use uh when object click blocks and variables to get your gems taken away.